Mike Tyson's medical fallout has sent the entire fight world into a frenzy. This bout is officially off the cards, but hey, when one door slams shut in your face, another one blows open. Ryan Garcia has officially called Jake Paul out to fight him, stepping in as a replacement for Mike Tyson. Now we know that these two guys go back a long way. There's real animosity here, and we know what Ryan Garcia brings to the table. We've seen it in the buildup of his fight with Haney. Ryan Garcia knows how to put on one hell of a show, making him the perfect dance partner for Paul. But the question comes to mind, would Jake Paul dare to step into a ring with a real fighter? There's a lot to unravel with this one. So without further ado, let's take a deep dive into this action. If you keep up with boxing news, you're likely aware of the unfortunate incident involving Mike Tyson. Yep, did you know Mike has crossed his name out from his mega fight with Paul due to an ulcer flare-up during a flight from Miami to Los Angeles? Yep, that's right. Now we know health comes first, but Netflix has got a show to save and Jake's got a bag to make. They need a man who can spark the same buzz among the fans as Tyson did. Well, Ryan Garcia has offered to step in. If there's one man who can steal Mike's thunder, it's Ryan Garcia. When a statement was released that Mike Tyson was unfit to be fighting anytime soon, Garcia saw the opportunity of a lifetime. Garcia has always been vocal about how he felt about Jake, and all I'll say is that the blood could not run any colder between those two. Garika tweeted, if Mike can't fight, I'll sub in. Now that spices everything up. But you can't miss out on what one of the fans commented under this tweet. Royed off with Jake Paul. If that's not controversy at its peak, then I don't know what is. Now the whole cheating accusation is something we'll get to later in this video, and how that may be a huge part in deciding if this fight will happen or not. Now Jake and his team have been quiet since this dropped. Let's be real. Garcia would take Paul to deep waters and drown him. We saw what he did to Haney. A guy like Jake would be signing off his death certificate going into this fight. Since there was utter silence from Paul's side, Garcia slid into his DMs. Yep, looks like Garcia is hell-bent on making this fight see the light of day. His text to Paul stated, If you down to fight, if Mike can't do it, let me know I will fill in. Ryan is not backing down, and the fans are loving it. I, for one, would love to see Garcia put Paul to sleep and end his joke of a career. Jake Paul promptly replied to the offer, dismissing the potential for a fight. Everyone is trying to do everything they can to hurt this fight and attack me. You should know about that. Well, I don't know what Jake is on because this fight is in the ruins now. I'm sure Jake wouldn't want to fight a guy who's pushing 60 and is unfit, but hey, I wouldn't be surprised either if he does. Most of the pros don't want to see Mike take up on this challenge and the fight with The Flash makes much more sense. Here's why. This fight has a buzz like no other. Because there was a time when Ryan and Jake were best buds, well now the tables have turned completely. So who wouldn't want to see these two settle their differences in the ring? Firstly, let's a look at what Ryan Garcia had to say about this Paul brother. Buckle up because this is about to get heated. I can't, I can't do this shit. I feel so fucking bad for introducing Jake Paul to boxing. I fucked up. This is, I can't let, allow this to happen. I can't, I can't. He's disrespecting my sport. He's disrespecting everything. I just, I don't know. Call my team, Jake. F you. Garcia stated on X Spaces. Now Garcia has a point. Boxers work their entire lives and still can't get to a level where Jake Paul stands as of now. Jake has only fought a bunch of YouTubers, retired MMA fighters, and cab drivers. You've only fought a real fighter once, and you took a major L. Jake Paul can't be saying that he will be a world champion when he's not fighting any real opposition. But hey, Jake is not one to keep his mouth closed while the other guy is running his. If you thought Paul was not going to fire back well, you got another thing coming at you. Jake said, you seem like you're losing your mind. You gotta chill out, bro. If you do wanna fight, to me that's light work. Ryan Garcia, light work? Last I checked, Jake was no Gervonta Davis. This guy needs a reality check. This really got Ryan fuming. Okay, enough. It's on, I'm going to have to do this. I'm going to end this Jake Paul boxing thing. Bring it on, Jake. I'm dead serious. Hit my team up. Ryan posted this tweet on X. Now this was read by Jake Paul during the impulsive podcast with his brother Logan. And what happened next was wild. Jake FaceTimed Garcia on the podcast and some heated words were exchanged. But hey, this trash talk was before Ryan Garcia did the impossible. Ryan Garcia became the head of the table when he battered Devin Haney. Now let me remind you guys, Devin Haney was considered to be the face of boxing until Ryan bruised that face. 
Gracia made Haney kiss the canvas three times. Talk about making history. Now look how quickly Jake Paul switched up. Before the fight, Jake was throwing shade at Garcia by comparing the event with his. The biggest boxing PPV sales from the Middle East is Paul Fury. Drop and give me 50. Soon after the fight ended, look at what he said. This is the craziest fight I've ever seen. Now that's just Jake, realizing he had bitten off more than he could chew by throwing his name in a list of potential opponents for Ryan Garcia. Jake does not want that smoke. In fact, to avoid a beatdown, Jake had to drop his ego, more like bury it. Get this, Jake Paul invited Ryan Garcia to his podcast. Yep, there it is. Jake Paul is the biggest duck in boxing history. But there were interesting things said in the podcast that we can't miss out on. Both the guys were asked if they'd ever fight each other and just take a look at what they said. Ryan Garcia, without any hesitation, said, Depends on the bag. He added, I'm a man of confidence. He's a man of confidence. He doesn't think he'll lose. He thinks he's going to beat Mike Tyson. I fight with Sean all the time. No, you too. Would, would, would you? Would you? Would that ever happen? Really? Uh, depends on the bag. What if Netflix said, "I got a big bag. We can run another Netflix fight." We gotta do what we gotta do. Yeah, we gotta turn it up. And, and, and got him beat. I mean, I'm a man of uh, confidence, so he's a man of confidence. He yep. doesn't think he'll yep. lose. Yep. He thinks he's gonna beat Mike Tyson. <laughs> Jake really made his ties stronger with Garcia, just so he did not have to fight him. But realistically speaking. Garcia versus Paul is a tough one to make. For instance, the weight difference is a lot. I mean, Jake is 30 kilograms heavier than Garcia right now. So from that standpoint, this fight is impossible to make. And not to mention the whole Osterine controversy with Garcia. He failed two drug test guys, so Ryan will probably face a suspension soon. But here comes the most interesting part. Jake has already found a replacement for Mike. Yep, and you know who it is. The one and only Logan Paul. So you're telling me Jake would rather fight his own brother than face some credible opponent? Yes, that's about right. But let me also remind you that Logan is also the guy who's going back and forth with Garcia over the internet. Just take a look at what the older Paul brother said. Ryan is going crazy in my DMs. You're so stupid, Ryan. I'm not kidding. Your last two brain cells are working overtime right now, trying to figure it all out. It's like when you took that knee against Gravanta and gave up. The fact that you resorted to fabricating messages from me is pathetic. You are a pathetic little weasel liar, just faking a message and posting it on Instagram. He added, he has a lot on his plate. He just got caught for lying about taking PEDs. He just got sued by Prime for five counts of defamation, lying about our brand Forever Chemicals, saying we're killing children. All false. Ryan's going crazy in my DMs. He's losing his sh shit right now. Ryan, King Ryan declined. Screenshot. Ryan, why are you I don't want to go live. Because he knows he's going to say some stupid shit. Come on, bro. <laughs> he said forget you. You're so stupid, Ryan. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. Your last two are working overtime right now trying to figure it all out. It's the Ryan Garcia. <laughs> oh, you're so stupid. Man. It's like when he took the knee against Gervonta, he'd give it up. The fact that you have resorted to fabricating messages from me is pathetic. You are a pathetic little weasel liar. That's what you go just just faking faking a message and, and post it on Instagram. Where you at now, Ryan? Oh, and I'm willing to have a conversation with him. And he, he keeps declining, but he's in my DMs going crazy. I mean, look, he probably he has a lot on his plate. He just got caught for lying about taking PEDs. He just got sued by Prime for five counts defamation, lying about our brand, Forever Chemicals, saying we're killing kids, all false. Ryan's confident he's gonna win in court. I guess we'll see. Ryan ran away, he took a knee. Gervonta part two. <laughs> well, Logan's beef with Garcia is a conversation for another day, but it's interesting to see how one brother is playing best buds with Garcia while the other one is taking shots at him. The plot thickened even further when Logan Paul tweeted this, so Mike Tyson's out? I'll step in and we can settle this once and for all. At first the fans took this as a joke, but things got way too real all of a sudden when Jake replied back, mom doesn't want me to KO you, but why not? Loser has to change their last name. I don't know about you guys, but this could be the start of something huge. The Paul brothers finally set the score on who's better, and then the winner can go head-to-head -head with Ryan Garcia. See, now that's something the fans would love to see. 
They're already sharing their excitement all over social media. One of the fans said, we've been wanting Logan vs. Jake since they dropped diss tracks on each other. Another fan said, big bro about to humble lil bro, can't wait. Now that does have a ring to it. You just know when the Paul brothers are up to something together, it's always fireworks. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.